Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Mushroom Growers. Fresh, simple, good. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Great Tastes is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture, Food and Rural Development. Welcome back to another episode of Great Taste of Manitoba. We are here at the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Centre. My name is Des Daniels, your host. And today it is all about bistro style soup and sandwiches with our friends from the Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association, specifically Heather Dybert. Thank you very much for being here again. And uh, Sheila Nash, of course, we have our Hello. product expert from Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries. Now, if bistro style soups and sandwiches are like a warm hug, uh, we maybe can provide a little bit of a kiss on the cheek with your <laughs> beverage pairings. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, can you walk us through what we're going to be making today? Okay. Uh, yeah, bistro style soup and sandwiches. So we're going to start off with a mushroom soup au gratin. Classic. Classic, yeah. Very flavorful, nutritious and delicious. Uh, the second recipe is a mushroom Reuben. Okay. So a take on a classic, but we're going to use uh, mushrooms, of course, being the uh, star. And the third recipe is going to be a mushroom mozzarella melt. Okay, so mm -hmm. mushrooms, mushrooms, more mushrooms. Yes. And cheese. And Goodness. Yes. Um, yes. Cheese is back, which is never a bad thing either. So uh, any thoughts so far? Any questions? Sounds great. Um, but um, the Reuben. Yes. Uh, is, you, you said there's a bit of a twist, of course, with the mushrooms there. Is there yes. still going to be some sauerkraut in there? There is. There's some sauerkraut to give us a bit of a bite. And there's also a interesting cheese. We're using a horseradish cheddar by Bothwell in, in the uh, Reuben. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll see what I can shake up. Okay. Can't wait. Thanks, Thanks, Sheila. Okay, off okay. to the races here. Mushroom soup au gratin. Yes. Um, and so, the, the, like, when all else fails, soup and sandwiches. And I kind of love this recipe because it's a little like soup and a sandwich because you've got the bread in yes. there, right? Exactly. So, all in one. But we start with the Yeah, we're just going to start by talking a bit about what mushrooms we're using in the, the soup. Uh, we're going to use a combination of cremini, okay. which are the brown or the darker mushroom, a little denser texture. Uh, we're going to use the classic, the white as well. And we're also going to use the shiitake. Exciting. Yes, which again is the only mushroom we recommend. You remove that woody stem. Right. Um, and then what we've done is just uh, sliced, up, sliced up about 750 grams. So it's quite a large amount of mushrooms mm -hmm. being, being the star. So I've just melted some margarine. And you, were just, you were just telling me that there actually butter. is a Mr. Love Day. Like there's yes. a look. And the fourth generation in uh, growing mushrooms that, that long. And again, just the variety that's available in Manitoba. This has been the most surprising yes. uh, thing for me about uh, talking to you. Yes. And uh, it's uh, just amazing the variety that's available to us here in Manitoba. Yeah, actually, the it's a fourth generation mm -hmm. owned farm by the Love Day family. So the, the um, Burton Love Day uh, is the owner right now. And uh, yeah, it's been come down through the ages and he is a wonderful man and makes these wonderful mushrooms every day for us and now we get to yes. make these, this wonderful soup yes which is starting to smell fantastic already yes it took two seconds two seconds okay. so again with the mushrooms we're going to add some sliced onion okay so we're just going to add that in nice uh, section of uh, round pieces of onion and kind of like not chopped I might get super you to fine. stir okay, yeah sure happily nope. and uh, and some garlic okay. of course so why are we putting in the onion sort of like um, more chunky, I guess you could say. Instead. Chunky. It's just a style preference or just uh... Yeah, once this uh, sautés down, they will become nice and soft. They will give a bit of texture um, oh. to the mushrooms as well as flavor. This just smells like uh, when I would go to my grandmother's house. Like this is what yep. this smells like. Oh my How goodness. How can you beat mushrooms, onions, and garlic? Can't. Yep, sautéed in butter. Cannot. So the next thing we're going to add is the beef broth. So you're going to sauté for about three to four minutes, brings out that nice earthy flavor of the mushrooms. Okay. And then we have about six cups of beef broth that we're going to add to the soup. All right. And we're going to add a few more flavor enhancements to the soup. And that's what we're going to uh, simmer. So we've got a bit of fresh thyme. Okay. Again, if you have it, use fresh. If not, dried will work. But if you have fresh, it always gives a really nice flavor. 
And it's my understanding that if you don't have fresh, do you use a little bit less? Uh, you do. Okay. Yes. So if, let's say, the recipe calls for a tablespoon of fresh, you may use a teaspoon of dry. Gotcha. So it's about a three to one uh, okay. ratio. Okay. Um, and some lemon rind. Oh. A little bit of a different twist in here. Again, what does this do? Super nice, tarty flavor into the soup. Yeah. Okay. And what else another you got? interesting ingredient is some nutmeg. Yeah. How did that uh, yeah. weasel its way in here? Well, the nutmeg gives it a nice warm flavor, mm. and so you get the warm, you get the little bit of tart from the lemon, and you get the nice warm earthy from the mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. And. That's basically what you put in to the mushroom soup. That is beautiful. Once you've put this together, mm -hmm. you're gonna let this uh, simmer okay. for about 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes is all you need. Okay. We've got some simmering here. This is what we have. Yep. That's kind of what it looks like towards the end. Yeah, okay. and then all we're gonna show people is what do you do? After you saute it for, for 20 minutes, then we're gonna put it into a nice bowl. Okay. Yep, you can just spoon do, some. Do you wanna do that? You Should can spoon it in, I trust you. Oh, Trust you, Debs. We're going to put it into some nice bowls. You can use the larger ones if you want it as a meal, mm -hmm. uh, or if you want it as a uh, appetizer or before the meal, just use a smaller dish. Like so? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then I've got some toasted French bread. Right. We're just going to top that in there. Toasted because, again, you want it to be a sponge and absorb mm -hmm. all that. And we're just going to top it with some grated Swiss cheese. Perfect. Thank yes. you. Yes. Boswell cheese. Yes. Wonderful cheese. And you're going to put this in the broil under the broiler, and you're going to broil it till it's nice and brown and uh, so obviously ready, we make sure ooey that and gooey. These are oven safe, yes. then, obviously. Yes. Okay. Okay, yes. fantastic. Mushroom soup au gratin, yes. yum yum. Uh, when we come back, a twist on the Reuben. We're going to do a mushroom Reuben for you uh, in just a couple of minutes here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by greattastesmb.ca.